My name is Brian Steve Navalinsky. I'm from Conyers, Georgia, the United States. I'm an architect as well as a businessman. I was uh, diagnosed with heart failure in 2008. And at the time, um, we didn't know the real cause of it. We later came to find out that uh, I had had a virus. But in addition, I also had a congenital deformity to my aortic valve. I started doing research online and found Debbie Shetty's name consistently coming up when it came to valve replacement surgery. Um, and Nariana Huridadalai at the uh, hospital as being one of the best places in the world right now to be able to come and have heart surgery done. I did consider other Indian um, healthcare officers, offers. Uh, I did consider other hospitals. Um, I considered other surgeons. But as I honed in with more and more research, I felt that I'd be listened to by Dr. Shetty and that his approach, being a team approach, would give me the best outcome. And that's why I'm here. American healthcare is different uh, because while it's very scientifically based, it isn't, um, there doesn't seem to be the humanity in most hospitals in the U.S. that you find in an Indian system. Um, now, my hunch was that I would get good treatment here. The reality was I got excellent treatment. Dr. Shetty has been fantastic. Dr. Cherian has been unbelievable. Um, Dr. Shetty basically made Dr. Cherian the team leader, and then Dr. Cherian did the surgery on me. So um, I feel like I've gotten extraordinary care at an extremely reasonable price uh, on something that I may or may not be able to get in the USA. Because simply put, on paper, I didn't look that bad there. But when they actually broke it down here, and they took a week to scientifically study my case, and we're talking about repeated echocardiograms, CAT scans, MRIs. Essentially, they came to the conclusion that the aortic valve needed replacing, that it would you know, help me now while I'm younger, uh, when I can recover, and that I'd have a better life later. On the day after the surgery, when I first came out of anesthesia, and I was actually able to take a gauge of uh, you know, what had happened, while I was still under a lot of anesthetic, I could feel the strength of the heart. Um, there wasn't the gurgling and the whooshing of the old aorta. Um, it was more of a ba-bum, 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 consistent heartbeat, more consistent with humanity. <laughs> um, my heart was not consistent with humanity until after that surgery. And uh, I'm really grateful. The hospital in general, extremely well run. Um, it's a nice facility, uh, marble floors, uh, CBS uh, stucco walls, etc. cetera. It's, it's a modern facility. Um, as far as the staffing goes, I think they're, uh, they really don't have a comparison uh, in any healthcare facilities I'd, I've been with because of, I think they're much better trained. I absolutely recommend Narayana Hurlaya to anyone. Internationally, um, I think it's the place to come. Um, more importantly, when you're thinking in terms of the best choice for your family, uh, I have had a bad situation recently uh, where my brother-in-law was essentially um, ignored for a while uh, with a bad case of peripheral artery disease and I just wish now that I knew then what I do know now he would have been here. I would bring my wife here immediately if anything happened to her. It would be the first place on my list. If I could get a flight here we would be here. At first I'd say the trip was a bit frightening and daunting because you never know when you sign, uh, you know, on the bottom line, uh, 21,000 miles away, what type of, uh, you know, care you're going to get because it is so distant. But my hunches were right. My research was well done. 
and uh, essentially I feel that I've gotten the best result possible from the best people on the face of the planet. I can't say more. <laughs>